So over this roll, we've got a seven. What we must do with our numbers that we have here is close some numbers or a number that equate to the die. So for example, we've rolled a seven. We could put down the number seven and that's our turnover. However, we could also put down a combination of numbers that add together to make seven, such as, you know, we could put down six and one, uh, and that's that turnover, or we could have done, say, five and two. Um, obviously, we can't do anything greater than seven, so we cannot use eight or nine in this case. Uh, we even could have done three numbers, like four, two, and one, of course. They all add together to make seven. So, those are just a few examples of how we could make the number seven in this case. Let's say I choose to go with five and two in this particular instance. I would then pick up my die and roll them again as I make some good ASMR sounds. Of course, couldn't forget that. And wow, would you look at that? I rolled a seven again. So this time I think I'm gonna go with just a seven. And I would continue to do this, rolling the die. Seeing what we get, a three, let's put down just a three. Sometimes you'll see there's only one number or one combination we could actually do here. Go again. Seven, we go six and one. We go again. Eight, so we put down the eight. We're actually getting quite lucky here. We've put down quite a lot of numbers. And ten, so as you can see here, there is no combination to make to score ten. So that would be where our game ends. Our game is finished. And we have not shut the box, we have not won. And our final score would be the combination or the sum of the numbers that are still up. So in our case, our final score is 13. Obviously, the lower the score, the better. Uh, or just, you know, the... Yeah, just the lower the score, the better. Obviously, you want to aim for zero, right? You want to close all the numbers. Now, if you get lucky and you manage to close all the numbers, you have essentially shut the box and won the game. Uh, and yet, that's pretty much all the rules. One thing to mention is, let's say you have all numbers down except from one. Then for your last roll, of course, it's impossible to make one. So you would just roll one die, if that makes sense. So you have a one in six chance. In that case, my camera doesn't like focusing with that. <laughs> Anyways, let's give this our first proper go here and see if we can win any games tonight. Um, feel free if you watch the entire game, uh, entire video, to kind of predict, 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 predict how many wins, predict how many wins, predict how many wins you think we're going to get. And watch to the end to see how many we do get. Although for those who follow me on Twitch, you'll know when I've played this on stream before, we have gone extensive periods of time where we have not won games. But then we've had instances where we've won games instantly. So, anyways, let's get started with the first game. All right. So first up, we are going to roll a 10. I think I'm going to go with an 8 and a 2. 8 and a 2 make 10. Let's get another roll here. Let's see what we get. A 7, 7, 7, 7. I'm just going to go straight with 7 here, I feel like getting rid of the high numbers, see if we can get, you know, 
nice low score to sort of set the set the bar <laughs> for the rest of the video. Be like, what do we get in the example? 13. 13's not that great, is it? So we have three again. We've already put down a two. So the only combination to make three is three on its own. Let's give it a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. Four. Well, I tell you what, we're getting very lucky. We've got some of these low numbers balanced with the high numbers. We got this cool looking pattern going up. Turn up, turn up. Would be nice to maybe get a nine here. Would be very good. We'll see what we get. A ten. So, of course, the only way to do that is with the nine and the one, but that's still not too bad. There's a few ways we could win here. We could roll an 11, which would win it right now for us, but the chances of rolling a 5 and a 6 are very unlike, uh, unlikely. Or we could roll a 5, put the 5 down, then roll a 6 and put the 6 down, which I, I can't do the maths for you right now. I'm sure someone will, but let's see. I, I mean, neither of those will happen, but... Dang, so close. So, so close. That is going to be a 10, and we needed, we needed, needed an 11. So game one has come to an end. <laughs> Our high score. Although, do we really want to call it a high score? Our lowest score is 11. Let's see if we can beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Oh, and by the way, feel free to sort of make your own version of this game with paper, you know, print out or cut out the numbers one through nine and sort of turn them over with me as we go. You can do your own combination corresponding to what I roll and maybe you could win a game that I lost, for example. It is possible. Let's go with five. Let's take the die. really know if there's any strategy to this game. There probably is. I'll run through some of my ideas as we go. I mean, right there. This is one of my first strategies. I like to keep a good balance of numbers. So, you know, getting rid of some middle at the same time as getting rid of some high numbers. So if possible here, I would like to get rid of some low numbers at the same time. So as you can see, we got an 11. So I think I'm going to go for 2 and 9. I think that's good. 7, 6, 4, and 3. You can make and 1. You can make a lot of numbers with them. Between 1 and 12, right? Probably all. Apart from the number two. Um, oh, you can't make. Oh, no, you, yeah, you can make pretty much everything. <laughs> Let's see what we get. We get three. Okay. I'm not going to complain. We've had three quite a few times. Let's see what we get next. Like we should have a win counter, right? Six. Okay. Six. We can only put down a six. So we can actually win it on this next go despite the numbers that we have left. Uh, what was our high score again? Was it 11? So that we're on 12 right now. If we roll a double six, which um, in some games would be amazing, we could win right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we get a 
7, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We can still put down a 7. And we come down to a second chance to roll a 5. Let's give it a good roll. Right in your ear. As you hear the dice. Actually, yeah, there's a lot of options here. I can go 9 and 2, which makes 11. 8 and 3, so that would obviously be 8, 2, and 1, which is a 3 number. But that would leave me with 9, 6, and 4, which is quite risky. Uh, remember, our plan was to put down as few numbers as possible per roll. Um, we could do 
six and five, which would be six, four, and one. I don't like to look at that. I think I'm going to go with nine and two. Okay. Let's see if that was worth it. Let's roll these die. Nine. Okay. We can do eight and one. Which leaves us with a four and a six. If we can roll a ten, I would be obviously ecstatic. But that would just prove that my theory, my strategy that I kind of just made up is pretty good. So let's find out. Come on, ten. Come on. Say it with me, guys. Ten, 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 ten. Oh, six. So it's not ten. But we do have a six. But no. <laughs> we must roll a four. The last number. Already this is a new high score, however, four, we must roll either a double two or a three and a one. Three and a one. Let's, let's do one die at a time. One die at a time just to put us out of our misery. This has to be a three, a one, or a two. It's a one. So if we roll a three... We win our first game of the video. We have a 1 in 6 chance of winning right now. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh no, of course. The game where I talk about 7 being the most common and most likely number. The game just comes back and goes... You got it right, bro. You got it right. It's alright. It's alright. We'll, we'll run it back. And, um, I guess, I believe the one where I did this video ends when I win shut the box was a half an hour video I just checked. So, <laughs> according to that video, we could be estimated to win in about six minutes. I mean... That's excluding my intro and my explanation on how to play. We can probably do a few faster, rapid-fire games now. And see if we can get a win. Although I feel like if I go a bit faster, there's probably a higher chance I will uh, make a mistake. And I know you're probably thinking, how could you make a mistake? Well... There's like a really high chance I could read the numbers on the die wrong right now. Is, by the way, is it die or dice? I say die. I, I think that's technically correct, but I, honestly, in my opinion, I think dice sounds better. But I think dice is like individual, right? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, there's a really high chance I'll read them wrong because it's late at night. Look at that, by the way, snake eyes. And yeah, when when it's late, my eyesight just kind of, yeah, you know, you get tired and you lose with an awful score of, what's that, 19. We'll pretend that game didn't happen. I mean, we got some really weird scores on that one. Some weird rolls. Five. Oh, see, I nearly put down a four. What, what just happened there? My brain. Dido.exe has stopped working. Gotta give it a good shake. I feel like there's, there's two way I roll these dice. What? Two way I roll these die. See, now it sounds weird. There's two way I roll these die. The first way is I just full on go for it. And the second way is I kind of roll it, but 
six. Okay, let's go. I guess just the six. I'm gonna re roll. Please don't get annoyed at me. I'm gonna try and roll these better. Okay, that was a different kind of six, so that's definitely, definitely allowed. An eight this time, let's just go for straight the eight, that rhyme. Seven, I'll go with just the seven on its own, I think that's gonna be pretty good. nine because then if we don't roll a nine here we can still roll a seven a six or a five and or even a four a three or a two and still be you know in this one so i like that i like that as i said more rolls the better <sighs> right well that's the game's way of uh saying F you to Ido will give you an 8. Just one of the only things I didn't need there. Gosh damn it. Alright, is there even any strategy here or is this all just for the 
this next game. Let's do just a silent game. So I'll roll onto the floor here so you guys don't even hear the die. And I'll be completely silent. so well I couldn't decide for that first set of 12 that we got whether to do uh, what was it 9 and 3 or 8, 3 and 1 so it was a, a tricky decision but yeah I think silent didn't really work <laughs> we'll go back to playing just normally here but I really hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. As I said, it's always fun making a nice long video. Because of course, you know, sometimes the shorter videos just aren't long enough to get you the true tingles, tingles, tingles. Or help you fall asleep. Maybe sometimes, you know, everyone takes different times to fall asleep. I remember reading a fact that says the average time to fall asleep is about seven minutes. Well, I mean, that just doesn't feel right to me, otherwise ASMR wouldn't exist. Am I right? <laughs> or am I right? Nine, okay. Eight and one, or six and three. Imagine what both would look like. Let's see, what does that look like? I think I prefer eight and one. Yeah, that looks nicer. Twelve. Well, luckily we can do it. But now we have to roll a damn three. We can roll a one here. A one in six chance of doing it. I'm actually gonna close my eyes so I can't even see. I've rolled it. You guys can see, but I can't. What is it? Oh no, it's a three. Hey, look, we won. We won. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I wish. I wish. All right, come on. We can get some more wins. I know it. I know it. Classic seven to start us off. If, if I had a, a dollar for all the games where we've started off with a seven. Heck. I'd be rich. That, was that a nine, right? I, I don't even remember. I, I can't remember. I think that was a nine. <laughs> Let me look at it properly this time. That's a, a an eleven. Let's let's go eight and three. I like this. I like this because we've gotten rid of all the highest numbers that there are. So if we can get a couple good ones down here, at least we're getting a nice low score. We're all a seven. 
you know, I could even do four do in one year. But is that riskier than six and one? Probably. I'll just do six and one. Let's see what we get here. Seven, okay. Five and two. Another case where we must roll a four. I think that's what we got earlier, didn't we? And not even a chance this time. We got two times four, which is eight. Which is not great. It's not great, mate, to roll an eight. We wanted a four on our plate. Sounds for you. I wonder if you're still watching right now and you are one of those people who uh, really, really wanted to see this video. What is it about Shut the Box that you love so much? Is it the satisfaction of getting a win? Is it the die sounds? Is it the sounds of the die as they go in the box? Is it the combination of the whispering and the putting down of the wooden dials? I also could have done a three and one there. Is it fun watching me make the decision of what dials to put down? Here, I don't really have a decision, but or, or do you play along and try and decide what you would do in this situation? What is it you enjoy? Drop a comment down below. I'd love to read some. Of course, another seven. By the way, if you're looking to get a set like this. Just type in, shut the box on Amazon. You can get some sets for, you know, really, really cheap. And I believe it's actually quite an old game. A very classic old game. And if I'm not wrong as well, I believe there's other versions of shut the box. Ones where you can play with other people. Other people. like two levels so you can use ones from both levels I think that's pretty neat as well um, but yeah I will definitely maybe look into some and maybe even get another one another game another version uh, seven of course no way of making seven the one time I've got an idea for this next game. Let's put down whatever numbers the die tell me. So if it says 6 and 1, for example, I'll put down 6 and 1. And if it's not possible, um, then I'll have to put down, you know, different numbers. But let's give it a go and see what happens. So here, instead of 5... I must go one and four. I would rather have done just five, but we gotta do what it says. And we can't even do three and three on our second roll, okay? We'll go six. If possible, we'll do it. Four and two, yeah, again, okay, that, that definitely doesn't work because we can't even make six, right? We're not doing that again. I repeat, we are not doing that again. Six. Eleven. Let's go seven and four. I 
actually no let's go eight and three i like the sevens i'm gonna keep them i think after i mentioned the fact that seven is the most likely number i should probably have gone with the assumption that keeping the most ways of making seven in a game is very important uh, as we roll an 11 which we cannot do so what I mean is for this next game let's try and keep as many ways of making seven as possible still up so if we roll say a four it would be better for me to put down the 4, because now we can still use the 2, um, and the 5, or the 1 and the 6, or, I mean, 3, 2, and 1, if that makes sense, we can still make 7 in more ways than putting down, say, a 3 and a 1. I mean, six. Here, we're gonna have to put down a six, though. You can do with some high numbers, please. Nine, okay, thank you. Eight, I mean, is the game listening? It must be, surely. Six. So let's go five and one. See, now I can still make seven, and I can still make five. I don't know, I'm clutching at straws at this point to try and find ways and reasons to come up with strategies. I mean, th there's a seven. That's not bad. Can we get a five, maybe? Let's do one at a time to build the pressure. Three, okay. Can we get a two? Can we get a two? Oh no. Of course we of course we get a seven, right? Right. <laughs> Anyways, I think what we'll do is we'll play a few more games here. It looks like we might be only heading for a one win video. Which ain't great. Let's do the opposite here. Let's start by putting the seven down. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna re-roll. I think I'm rolling wrong, if that's possible. Okay, I guess another seven would make sense. Let's do one in each hand. Eleven. I'll do eight and three. I could have done six, four, and one as well, though. Eight. Can I do nine subtract one, please? <laughs> it's so frustrating when the game ends so quickly. Quickly. Quickly and quietly. That's the complaint. 
totally opposite. I think it's a 1 in 36 chance that we roll a, a double 1 there. I mean, we can still win, especially with a 12, which is the equivalent of rolling two ones. So, obviously, no, it's the equivalent of rolling two sixes, but it's equally as likely. So, let's see. It, well, that's a seven. Five. Five, please. Please, again, one at a time. One at a time. A one. Please. Please, to end the video. To end the video. No. That would have been so good. Right, quickly, one more. One more, one more, one more. That was so good. That game was so, so amazing. Nine. Oh, that was such a good game. Imagine. We literally rolled almost everything there. So many rolls. Kind of going back to what I said earlier. About, you know, the more rolls, the better. I'm going to keep that set. Actually, yeah. put that seven down I think. I want to get rid of that eight. I don't like it. Well thank you that the die are listening now. They know that the video is nearly over and uh, they've just trolled me the entire video and now they're realizing oh wait maybe we should at least give them a win. Five to win it. Let's let's do the same here. Let's do the same. Right, guys, I think that's my cue to end the video. <laughs> now we'll do one more. One more. Why not? Why not? This is it. I'm desperate to end on a win. I think it would just be amazing. Another six. Heck, let's go five and one. this game. I don't like it. It's messing with me. I, I mean, we can make a five, luckily, but rolling a seven, then an eight, then a nine. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Yeah. All right, last game, whether we win it, whether we lose it, this is the last game. Five and two, I guess. No, 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 no. Six and one. Yeah, six and one. Four. Uh, let's do eight and two. I also could have done five, three and two, but I want to keep, you know, keep a good balance. Six. Yeah, that's that's got to be it. That's got to be the last game, guys. I think that's where we're gonna wrap up the video. There. Uh, if you've skipped to the end of the video to uh, hear me say how many wins we've got, unlucky for you, I will not be saying. Feel free to watch the video through and see how many we got. And if you did watch, then you will know. And uh, feel free to keep it to yourself. But I do want to thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you've all had a good time and found it nice and fun and relaxing. And if you did enjoy, be sure to drop the video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it would mean a lot to me. I enjoy making these videos and if you guys want to see more of them, then be sure to let me know in the comments. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching and tell you what, let's go out with one more game, 10, 5, I'm only doing this because, just imagine, imagine if we did our outro, as we win a game, Thank you all 
so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Good night guys. Good night guys. A quick thanks to the members of the Dido ASMR community. Thank you all so